So Windows 11 is expected to release on June the 24th at 11 a.m. And this is what, what Tech Radar and other sources are saying. And this is when uh, I guess they're going to have a keynote and they're going to tell um, all the different features and all the cool updates and whatnot that Windows 11 is going to have to offer. But I mean, why would you wait if there's a Windows 11 leak out there, you may ask. So we're not going to wait. And I was able to get my hands on the leak and I'm going to check out Windows 11 right now. So I'm going to unlock the screen. I'm going to put in my pin. It's going to unlock and here we are. This is the Windows 11 um, home screen or desktop, if you will. This is what's going to show. Now I am running this on a VM. So it's a virtual machine uh, through VirtualBox. I have another video where I kind of uh, I go through step by step as how to set up VirtualBox. It's super simple, super easy. You can check that video out right there. There's a card for it. Um, so here's Windows 11. Um, it looks it looks pretty cool right off the bat, I, I gotta say. Um, so the taskbar is at the bottom here. It's kind of in the center here. On Windows 10, it would be on the left. Um, the whole overall interface looks pretty clean, pretty nice. So here we have um, the file explorer. Oh cool, the icons look uh, look pretty neat too. So you'll notice the folders have these little um, arrows that uh, or symbols that correspond what type of folder it is. So you have the video playback, the triangle on the videos, and then the music note and music and download um, arrow and so forth. Documents has little uh, little lines like as if it was a paper. Pictures has a little photo. So they implemented the the symbols within the icons I think it's pretty cool um, here yeah everything else is very similar to Windows 10 and it's kind of more has rounded edges and let's see if uh, oh yeah so the window just kind of I guess disappears when you minimize it I mean I'm sure there's settings you can set for that um, here's the widgets now the widgets I notice I I can't see them here I mean they're there but they won't they won't they won't like I don't know what I'm clicking or half the time I'm not going to know and this is some news or whatever and what do we have yeah so that was the widgets there so let's see if we can find anything else there we are I guess that's a stock widget cool so and then here we have our search and here we have the windows so this will this will pop up and I guess all, all of these are like the preloaded icons. I'm not sure if they're all, if they would all be installed. They look like they are. Uh, well, obviously Photoshop elements and Netflix and these things are premium services. And then here's your power, your shutdown and, and restart. So overall, very, very clean look. And here's if you want to have multiple desktops. So I guess you want to add more desktops. You can have, let's say I have this test desktop and I open the videos here. I go back here. Oh, sorry. I go here. I can have that stop one where I had File Explorer open and so forth. I keep hitting the widgets button. Okay. And of course, you can remove the uh, button if you want. So if I right click here, unpin from taskbar, I can, I can get rid of that. If I right click on the taskbar, you'll notice that uh, it just has a taskbar settings. That's like the only option you have here. And you can show widgets and turn things on and off. Uh, my personal favorite here would be the themes. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, Windows Dark. Oh wow, that's now that's cool. This is totally cool. It's kind of like the Mac OS, sort of. But wow, that's that's neat. Now I wonder if Internet Explorer. Okay, yeah, I know Windows 10. I had the dark theme on Explorer too. So what if I let's download Google Chrome. <clears throat> okay and download Chrome okay that's gonna download open file and I actually had that this downloaded earlier to Google Chrome didn't set it up so let's set this up close this right here not sure if I hit that twice or three times my bad so I was click happy there for a second 
and Chrome is inst installing. I know on Windows 10, I think it was Chrome that I was enabled. Actually, no, that was in the Mac. Different story. Never mind. I was going to say I wasn't able to get the dark theme on Chrome, but on Windows 11, that's pretty cool. I gotta say, Chrome is also all like uh, black, it's all dark. And same with here, if we go to the Google homepage here, let's see. And no, I guess so there's settings here for this, if you wanted to have like a black theme uh, going on there. Anywho, so that's, that's that. Um, in terms of settings, okay, we have more themes. You have a theme called Glow, which has four images. I'm sure you can add or edit your images. That's pretty neat too. Look at that. Again, dark theme and you kind of have a hint of the, the purple in the icons up here, the tabs. And then we have captured motion. Let's see what this is all about. So you'll see like different accents. So the theme implements the red color here. You'll see all the little icons here, red and, and the writing to the right here is red. Um, that's a very cool background, by the way. That's cool. And then if we go here, this PC, okay. So that's okay, that's cool. And then we have sunrise. And this, I guess, is a, is a light theme, similar to the default Windows light. Yeah, that's light. But I mean, the dark themes just look so cool. Oh, let's see if, uh, okay, that's cool. Kind of like Windows 10, yeah. So you can have uh, two screens open. Uh, let's close this here. Let's go back. And the last theme here was flow. Let's see what this is all about. Okay. So it seems like a, it seems like a light theme, but kind of a hint of this teal bluish gray color. That's neat. Okay. And one of my personal preferences, if we, if we go to themes here, uh, you'll notice that I'm showing this icon on the desktop this pc i actually really can't live without that icon on the desktop i find it's super useful so you can also show users files network control panel actually you know what let's see if control panel hit apply okay cool that's neat in windows 10 i know i had the control panel pinned to the uh taskbar here which was super neat oh i, I don't i don't know if i can do that here Oh, you don't know that's gonna take some some learning that sucks you can't uh unpin from task pin to task. oh there we are pin to taskbar okay that was cool and this one no i don't think you can oh so what's the point of having them on the desktop when they're on, in the taskbar and yeah that's awesome but of course back to that that dark theme so I find the keyboard, yeah, keyboard's working fine. I mean, I am on a virtual machine, keyboard and mouse are working absolutely fine, no issues there. And other than that, yeah, that dark theme really, really makes it look super, super classy and super clean. And everything else here is, uh, you know, the basics. So I have the virtual optical drive, I'm using 50 gigs. So it's a, it's, it's a 29 gig. Uh, windows i mean it's not it's not surprising i mean it's a it's a whole windows right and it's windows so they tend to be bigger bigger files um in terms of let's say if i want to create a new folder and call it new okay that's cool so motion say you want to minimize so it just kind of drops down you don't really see the animation it just kind of falls down and that's that and there you have it this is windows 11 first impression i think it looks very neat it looks very clean um i know microsoft is kind of i guess widgets will be a big thing for them because it was in the taskbar there i mean it didn't really work for me as it should but where are we okay widgets right here let me give that a shot again nothing Okay, and here you can, uh, you can, so here by default, it's in the center, but you can move it to the left as well if you wanted that traditional Windows 10 feel. But because it's Windows 11, or it will be, I think in the center, it's pretty cool. Okay. 
yeah, this is not the final release, so of course it's going to have troubles downloading uh, certain certain content and certain things. Well, there you have it, folks. This was Windows 11. This is pretty cool. Um, I'm actually pretty excited for the actual release and see what uh, what type of updates they have. I did a lot of um, cool stuff with the um, with the rounded edges and the overall uh, user interface. I think it looks pretty cool. The GUI is 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 really cool on it. And that's it. That's all. I mean, there's not much more to it. I can't, you know, we can't we can't do too much until we get it physically installed on our computers, not just the VMware to get the full experience. But there you have it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this one. Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Be well, be safe, and I'll catch you real soon in the next one. Take care.